Hi there, it's Anne at Life LDC. It's a freezing cold, blustery day. I intended to start my video off with uh, outside with me, me wearing my new hat and uh, my, uh, my Feral scarf. It's what they call a polar vortex and you know all these warnings about don't go outside, don't stay out long, you get frostbite and all this kind of stuff. So I decided to stay on the couch here and do my video from inside. Today I'd like to talk to you about the new Moordale yarn from Rowan. Uh, Rowan, it, this is um, a between season uh, release. It didn't come out in time for the autumn winter 2018-19. It came out before uh, the spring release because it is a winter yarn. It's 70% wool, it's 30% alpaca. It comes uh, skeined up and I was very fortunate to receive a sample skein and I'm going to put a little close-up of it here and you can see what the sample skein looks like. It's 70% wool and 30% alpaca. Uh, that is what the label says. The label does not give you the, the detail of the actual content. What it is is 70% finest British uh, blue-faced Leicester wool which is known for being soft and strong and it's blended with British alpaca and so that uh, gives the yarn a, a silky uh, touch and feel. I, I really like the texture of the yarn. It's uh, While it's robust it is still soft and I was um, I, when the patterns came out I have not received the book yet from Rowan but when the patterns came out on the Rowan website I immediately bought Buckler and downloaded it and knit this hat because I really, really couldn't wait to try this yarn out. The buckler hat just takes one skein of uh, Moordale. That is a 100 gram skein, 230 meters. And the hat pattern calls for a two inch um, pom-pom. I actually did a three inch pom-pom. And as you see, I still had plenty of yarn left. Uh, I've got the brim turned up right now just to pull it down closer to my head, but it is actually a slouch, one of those slouchy sort of hipster hats. I'll just pull it up and you can see the full, the full. So you can wear it slouchy down at the back if you want, or off to the side, whatever. For some, you know, don't we all have one side that is better than the other? To me, everything is better if I put it on the left hand side. So anyway, there you go. Now, it's, it's uh, maybe cold outside, but I'm getting warm in here, so I'm going to strip off and carry on with our review. Oh, nothing like taking a hat off, it makes you feel great. Okay, so, Moordale. It comes in, one, two, three, four, five, six, 12 different shades. This is, a, uh, this is a print off from the Rowan website. Did you know that on the Rowan website, when you look at a yarn, you can actually download the shade card and uh, print it off. And while this is not 100% accurate, it's not bad. This one up here is this beetroot color that I've got. So when it, the printout is a little bit brighter than what the actual yarn is. But it gives you a general idea um, before ordering. Of course, the best thing is to see it in your yarn shop in person or to uh, acquire a shade card if you can and order from there if you're the kind of uh, knitter that has to order uh, their rowan from the internet somewhere. Um, I just, there's some really nice colors here. I wasn't, I'll be honest, I wasn't thrilled with the beetroot when it first, when I first opened my little package and I saw beetroot, but it's, it's growing on me. And I love the way it picks up the red in this scarf. I've worn them together quite a bit and I'll uh, have some pictures that I did take outside the other day here. So the, uh, the Moordale brochure is a collection of 14 designs all done by Martin Story and Martin is known for his cables, right? And you might like to know how many um, skeins of the yarn it takes. Uh, this is not an inexpensive yarn and 
one of the reasons why is it is an all British yarn. British fiber, British blue face lester, British alpaca, spun and dyed, all processed in Britain. This is the um, uh, a Rowan yarn that gets the Made in Britain logo. And I love to see that Made in Britain logo on Rowan yarns. The Moordale collection by Martin Story includes uh, designs for men and women and accessories. So it's a really great mix and uh, there's something I'm sure for everyone in this collection. So let's start with the buckler hat, which I knit takes uh, just one uh, skein of yarn and it, uh, it's an all over texture. It's a four row texture stitch. It's a little bit tricky. I kept getting caught off with it. The buckler pullover, um, it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six sizes ranging from 32 to a 54 inch chest. So a wide range of sizes takes from five to eight skeins of yarn. So lots of yardage in the yarn to cover these sizes. It uses this same four uh, row uh, patterning from the buckler hat and it can be tricky so I'm just suggesting if you want to do buckler do the hat first. The buck It's funny because the buckler sweater has three dots and the buckler hat has two dots. So I think they're on the same, they're saying the same thing as me. Do the buckler hat first and then do buckler. There are two sort of poncho styles in, uh, of, of garments in this collection. One is called Cloudberry. It's um, uh, an asymmetrical sort of poncho and it has a huge rolled neck. And you'll notice Martin, he sort of carries design elements from one to another. It, it pulls the whole collection together and the Rosedale pullover, it has a big deep rib and that huge cowl collar also. The other poncho is called Boland. It has uh, three dots beside the pattern. It uses 10 skeins of the Moordale yarn. It's a large poncho with um, sections of stocking stitch and garter stitch, and then it's got that big uh, textured cable panel down the, the front and back. It's absolutely gorgeous. And sort of its, its brother pattern is the, uh, the Forge Man's Pullover. It has also uses stocking stitch and garter stitch detail on that pattern. So uh, it's, it, there, there, there are the design details in those two that sort of tie them together. and gives a cohesive look to the design collection. There are two, um, not color block, but color edged designs that are that relate to each other. Sedge is a color edged cardigan, uses three different shades, and then the tussock pullover, it has has the same sort of coloring with the the colors on the edge, but that's a pullover and it has those lovely pockets. Martin uses pockets quite a bit in this style of uh, pullover. Uh, I really like it. There are three women's cardigans in this collection. Tor, it's uh, a textured, all over textured cardigan with a cabled front. Love that one. There is Sundew, which is a woman's cardigan with uh, cabled designs all over, an all over cable pattern. And the last one is Skylark, and it's a woman's crop cardigan with uh, deep cabled rib details, something there for everyone. So to finish off the accessories, in addition to the buckler hat, there's Pippet, which is uh, a triangular uh, scarf or shawl. It's um, 39 and a quarter inches deep and approximately 78 and a quarter inches wide. I don't know, I still use inches, so that's 100 centimeters deep and 200 centimeters wide and uses six skeins of Moordale. And then there's also uh, a unisex cabled cowl. It uses three skeins of Moordale called Curlew. It has three dots, maybe just because of the cables. And then also Fingal, which I, it's shown on a man in the pattern, but, but I think definitely that the Curlew cowl and the Fingal scarf uh, are definitely unisex. Most, a lot of knits, not most, a lot of knits are. The Fingal scarf takes five skeins of Moordale. 
So I hope uh, that if you're in your yarn store that you'll see if they've got Moordale in stock. It should be in stock now in your yarn store and uh, I think you'll like it. I, I do suggest to people to buy before they make the commitment to a big big purchase with for a lot of yarn for a big project to buy a skein. Try it out and this is great. Buy a skein, knit yourself a buckler hat Put a pom-pom on it. <laughs> Are you ever too old to wear pom-poms? I don't think so. That's it from me here and at Life LDC. Until next time, happy knitting! Yep, I'm here on the couch with my buddies. They've been out in the cold and uh, Leave me alone, mommy. I've been out long enough. And then there's Daisy. I can, you know, you're probably thinking, do those dogs sleep all the time? They do when I'm videoing, because that's when I choose to video. So, oh, a little bit crooked. Let me just fix that. I spend a lot of time in the winter uh, running in and out, feeding the birds at least three times a day because they come and they just eat everything in sight and then they, they make me feel guilty because they're, they're scratching around in the snow. But one of the benefits is uh, being able to sit in my knitting spot in the living room and look out and see like gorgeous birds like this, this male cardinal. Uh, they, they, they flutter around in the trees right outside the window and it's lovely to watch catch the glimpse of red now and then. Isn't he just gorgeous? I love seeing the flashes of red in the trees uh, when they're scoping it out, seeing if there's any food there for them. Not to worry, he has a couple of female friends to hang around with. Thank you all for uh, joining me here on the Life LDC channel. I hope you have subscribed. If you hadn't, please hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell and you'll be uh, notified every time I do a new video upload. And if you do enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. It's always appreciated. Thank you very much from uh, Anne here at Life LDC. I'll see you next time. Until then, happy knitting!